four of Bronx's best were honored here at the Botanical Gardens. One, a Bronx father of three who's worked for the city for more than 27 years. It was last year, the day before Thanksgiving, he ran into a burning building and saved six people. I'm so happy for you, proud of you. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Love you, dear. Making his mother and the borough he lives in proud. I want to thank him. You know, he uh, he did something selfless. Bronx City Council member Rafael Salamanca says what 44 year old Ashanta Smith did was extraordinary. And he risked his life you know, on behalf of the of Hunts Point, on behalf of the South Bronx, and on behalf of the Bronx and New York City. Uh, we need more New Yorkers like you. Reaction is the key to it all. Smith's quick reaction to a fast moving house fire across from Hunts Point Recreation Center, where he's a manager, saved the lives of a half a dozen people. Hear somebody screaming, hey, my, my house is on fire. My mom, my mom, she can't get out. My mom, my sister's still in there. Smith saw these flames. Two families were inside when he sprang into action. Ran back to the center. I grabbed about three fire extinguishers. I told my staff, call 911. Without hesitating, he ran into this burning two-story home and helped six residents escape before it became fully engulfed. Your instinct is to do something. All the time. To step in. All the time. Like, to save a life. Yes, yes. How can I help? Smith is one of four honorees, brave Bronx residents deemed by Council Member Salamanca as everyday heroes. Smith says he would do it all again. Bravery, he says, he learned from his mother. Hey, that's my boy. <laughs> if we as a world people was to live by that, like, how can I help? We'll be we be greater. Like, and that's Bronx strong right there. Like Hunts Point strong. Like that's what we do. Like and we survive. Each one of these everyday heroes got a special proclamation. And if you know an everyday hero, we'll help you connect them to this annual event at Monica Morales TV on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and now TikTok. Or just scan the QR code right here, and we'll link you there as well. In the Bronx, Monica Morales, Pix11 News.